Hey guys, in this video we are going to be naming alcohols. If you're not confident with naming um, alkanes and alkenes in organic chemistry, I suggest you go and get confident with those first. Look at my other videos because this is going to be building on the skills we did there. Um, if you want a hard copy of some questions and some more questions, you can go and get those over on my website. When we think about naming alcohols, we need to think about naming alkanes. So here we have one, two, three carbons, and you should know that the alkane that has three carbons is propane. But we have this alcohol group on the end here. So what we need to do is to get rid of this E off the end and replace it with an OL, so that propane becomes propanol. Here we have four carbons. Now the alkane that has four carbons is butane. If we want to turn that into an alcohol, we need to remove the E and then put an OL on the end. Now this is pronounced butanol, not as one of my year 11s once insisted on pronouncing it as but anal. It is pronounced butanol. But hopefully you can see that between here and here, these two are actually different because that OH group is in a different place. Here it is and here it is. So we need to be able to name these differently to show where the OH group is. Now we need to number them. And remember we do our numbering giving the functional group the lowest priority possible. So we need to go one, two, three four so then we break butanol apart and we say but and dash one to show where the alcohol group is all butan one all we did the same with the second one one two three four the alcohol is now on carbon number two so that is but and two all Getting slightly more complicated now. Now we have another branch as well as the alcohol group. So we have our alcohol group here. We have our little branch here. Let's number our carbons. One, two, three, four. So this is but um, dash. The alcohol group is in number two. So it's two all. And then we need to look at the little branch. That is a methyl group and it's on carbon number two. So that becomes two methyl butan 2 -ol. When we're naming things in organic chemistry, we need to put the functional group with the highest priority at the end. Now here we have a double bond and here we have an alcohol group. The double bond is the one that needs to go at the end which gives us a bit of a problem because we normally put the alcohols at the end. So let's start by naming the uh, alkene first. One, two, three, four, five. So this is pent dash two en. We can see we've got the alcohol group on number four and we change it ever so slightly. So we don't put it at the end, we put it at the beginning and it becomes four. 4-hydroxypent2ene. A last example for you here, one that is slightly more complicated. I'd like you to pause the video, have a go at naming it yourself, and then come back and check the answer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. You can see we have a double bond here, a double bond here and an alcohol group here and the longest carbon chain is going around the corner this is not a branch it's part of the carbon chain so we have hex 2 comma 4 dash diene and then we have a 3 hydroxy group so 3 hydroxy pent 2 4 diene 